Good afternoon, dear trade partners. Thank you for joining us in this webinar today. We will be starting with our presentation shortly.
Dear trade partners, good afternoon and welcome to the webinar. I am Amreen Chogle from Travel Biz Monitor and will be your moderator for today's session. Thank you so much for taking out your valuable time to attend this webinar. Today we have with us Atu France and EasyGo One. From Atu France, we have Ms. Shreya Vidwans, a Promotions Manager Atu France, who has been working with France Tourism Development Agency for the past two years. From EasyGo One, we have with us Ms. Shilpa Ranade, Team Leader for Products. Shilpa has an experience of over 11 years in the tourism industry and has been working with EasyGo One for two years and primarily looks after the product segment. In this webinar, they will offer insights into the various tourist offerings by Alps Mobile and Provence regions through an interesting presentation. After the presentation, we will have a Q&A session where they will be addressing your queries. Just a quick note on the logistics. All of you are on mute mode. And in case you have any queries, please type your questions in the questions tab, which is open on the right top corner of your screen on the webinars control panel. The control panel can be minimized or maximized by clicking on the orange colored arrow. Please note that the questions will only be answered at the end of the webinar. So let's start with the presentation now. Over to you, Shriya. Bonjour and bienvenue. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Atu France, France Tourism Development Agency in India and EasyGo One welcome you to our second webinar on France. We thank you for your presence today and we hope that uh, you enjoy this session. Uh, my name is Shriya and uh, I am in charge of promotions and I am available to respond to all your queries related to France. You may reach out to me via email um, or phone call. Uh, so today, through this webinar, I will try and take you on a virtual journey through two of um, well, two of our uh, hallmark destinations, uh, Alp Mont Blanc and Provence. As you can see in front of your screen, uh, France is very strategically located on the European map. Alp Mont Blanc and Provence being very easily accessible from India. We now invite you to the most visited destination in the world with about 89 million tourists in 2017. Thanks to all your support, France has been awarded several coveted awards by leading travel and lifestyle publications. The most recent being the award won by Paris um, as the favorite city voted by the readers of Condé Nast Traveler. With over 40,000 monuments and about 41 cultural and natural sites enlisted on UNESCO, we welcome your guests to experience the rich culture and architecture uh, of France. We invite you to indulge in the French Art de Vivre. To begin with shopping, one can explore shop options for shopping at several retail outlets and departmental stores present in, in various parts of France. And of course, high fashion boutiques in the capital of France. Paris. What is also interesting is that a shopper can avail of a VAT refund after shopping for goods worth more than 175 euros in France. Did you all know that the French gastronomic meal is added to the UNESCO intangible heritage? I'm sorry. Uh, to the intangible heritage of humanity since November 2010. 
So today's webinar, again, is aimed at highlighting the gastronomic offerings in the region of Alp Mont Blanc and Provence. French cuisine is celebrated world over. The words boulangerie and pâtisserie are coined by the French. You may also know that cheese and wine are two of the most important aspects of French gastronomy. You will also find 365 distinct types of cheese in France and wines from France are known all over the world. From croissants to bechamel sauce to the guide Michelin are all inventions of the French that has acquainted the world with the rich traditions of French cuisine. We have about 616 Michelin star gourmet restaurants all over France. We shall all explore this together today. We invite you to experience the delectable French cuisine with your clients. They say that non-vegetarians are spoiled for choices when it comes to good food in France. And I'm pleased to confirm that France has gracefully embraced the concept of vegetarian and vegan as well. I have been a vegetarian myself and lived and survived very well in France uh, with vegetarian food. For group and individual travelers, um, French cabarets offer Indian menus. There is also possibility of organizing uh, catering services for Indian food upon requests for your groups uh, and for your guests um, in France. So we are going to begin with a first destination in the Alp Mont Blanc region. Here we are in Lyon. Lyon is very easily reachable from Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore and Chennai with flights um, going to Paris and then connecting to Lyon from uh, Paris airport. Lyon is also accessible from Geneva and London. It is only two hours by um, the fast speed trains, that is the TGV from Paris CDG or Paris Gare de Lyon to Lyon Pardieu station. Lyon, a city in France's historical Rhone Alps region, sits at the junction of the Rhone and Saone rivers. With a history dating back to ancient Roman times, Lyon has earned a place on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Since Lyon is popularly known as gastronomic capital of the world, you can be sure that this quaintly charming city richly lives up to its culinary heritage. Lyon is home to world-class chefs. Léal Paul Bocuse, uh, named after the great chef Paul Bocuse, is a massive indoor food market. From shops displaying every imaginable Persian meat and fruit to quintessentially French bistros, from seafood speciality restaurants to dainty cake shops, this unique place celebrates a fiesta of food and fun. We invite your clients to immerse themselves in the distinct local culture of Lyon with a visit to this beautiful, lively food market, Les Halles by Paul Bocuse. Next up, L'Institution is an iconic restaurant um, of, of an explosive experience of flamboyant 19th century opulence, mingling with contemporary art with the food being the highlight, of course. Head chef Patrice Gaspar brings his ingenious uh, creativity with bold flavors, unexpected taste combinations, and exquisite presentation. The food combines 
old school French gastronomy with an exciting contemporary twist. Now, the legendary Lyonnais gastronomy can be enjoyed all over Lyon at these places that are called Bouchon, which are evocative little brasseries that serve traditional Lyonnais cuisine. Typically, the emphasis in a bouchon is not on haute cuisine, but rather a convivial atmosphere and a personal relationship with the owner of the bouchon. To name a few, there's the bouchon Les Lyonnais, the Café Comptoir Rabel, and uh, Les Fines Gueules. Now, Amongst Lyon's uh, few world-class Michelin-starred restaurants, the renowned Paul Bocuse restaurant is considered to be the best in France. Paul Bocuse is one of, the, one of France's most legendary chefs and has held on, his, uh, held on to his coveted three Michelin stars since 1965. To name a few other Michelin starred restaurants like La Mer Brasier and Le Neuvième Art. Besides these, you will also find a lot of other Michelin starred restaurants in Lyon. Now, Lyon is um, a beautiful city with a blend of modern and traditional cultures. Uh, one can walk through its it's old passages called Traboul, uh, and the city, the tourist office of Lyon also offers with guided tours of the Traboul's, which reveal uh, historic significances of these beautiful passages that lead from one point to another in the city of Lyon. The city also celebrates a festival of lights every year in December. And, this, and the city is lit up so beautifully, as you can see in one of the pictures on the screen. Lyon is also renowned for its silk industry. You will also find workshops or um, boutiques that offer silk in Lyon all over. Not far from Lyon are also two wine producing regions of Côte du Rhône and the Beaujolais. You may visit the vineyards, chateaus and cellars at these beautiful destinations for wine tasting and to experience authentic um, and to gain insight on wines uh, in this particular region with the owners of these vineyards and chateaus. Next up, uh, Alp Mont Blanc is Chamonix, which is again very easily accessible. At it is at the crossroads of uh, France and Switzerland. Chamonix is a magnificent beauty in France and one of the most sought-after skiing, uh, skiing grounds in the world with the most delectable local cuisine. Now the refuge Le Plan d'Aiguille, a, a quaint little mountain hut is stuck into the French Alps. This lovely place with its red roof and white walls, as you can see in the picture, has a breathtaking sit out overlooking endless mountains and valleys. Should you choose to sit outside, you can snuggle into the lush white fur, fur throws and deep cushion chairs and simply get lost in the beauty of the surroundings here. Yeah. Now the finest and the most luxurious chocolates, oil high in flowing stack whimsical chocolate figurines of animals and children 
beautifully wrapped boxes of jewel hued macarons. Le Petit Gourmand is every cho chocoholic's living dream. Isn't it tempting? Indeed. Now, Chamonix Mont Blanc is an adventure lover's paradise with over 45 um, summer and winter sports activities. Chamonix offers a plethora of options, including rock climbing, hiking, mountain biking, whitewater sports, canoeing, snowshoe hikes, dog sledging, and more. L'Aigui du Midi, one of the summits of Chamonix, is the highest point accessible by a cable car in Europe at about 3,842 meters, where an unforgettable view of the entire Mont Blanc range around the magnificent Chamonix Valley below unfolds in front of you. Also, the famous Red Rack and Pinion Railway, the Mont en Verge, nostalgic scenic cog railway starts from Chamonix, taking you through spectacular views and in 20 minutes brings you up to the Mer de Glace, which is called the Sea of Ice. One can also visit the Glaciorium, which is a museum of glaciers in Chamonix Mont Blanc. Up next is this beautiful lake city of Annecy, which is at about one hour 50 minutes from Lyon or two hours by train and about 50 minutes from Geneva. Now Annecy is known for its beautiful lake as you can see in the picture. So a guided visit of the old town is a must do in Annecy. The beautiful Chateau of Annecy is also definitely worth a visit. One can also cruise on this lake uh, or get on a jetty for a lake safari. A two sea week ride in Nancy would also be an interesting way to explore this beautiful little city. Up next are ski resorts, and we begin with Val Torrance. Now, Val Torrance is open between November to May 2019. It is about two hours and 40 minutes from Lyon and about an hour and a half from Chambéry. Val Torrance is a paradise for all skiers, beginners or competitors, snowboarders or free riders, cross country or snowshoeing enthusiasts. Whatever your profile or snow you will find your pleasure among the ski schools of the resort. Mary Bell, whereas, is open from, the de from December 8, 2018 to April 22, 2019. It is equidistant from Geneva, Chamonix, and Lyon, about two hours by road. This Ski resort is also open to public in summer from relaxing to full on adrenaline. There is something for everyone, every ability and every age in Mary Bell, like archery, kayaking, cycling, glacier walking, and many more. And for winters, for non-skiers and skiers, you have a diverse range of activities like winter walking, cross-country skiing, ice climbing, ice skating, and more. Courchevel, about an hour and a half from Chambéry, two and a half hours from Lyon, and almost two hours from Grenoble, 
is open from 15th of December 2018 to 22nd of April 2019. Courchevel is at one end of the world's largest lift linked ski area, Les Trois Valley, which has 600 kilometers of pistes and 162 lifts. Now talking about Les Deux Alpes, it is open from December 18 to 27th of April 2019. It is about an hour and a half from Grenoble. Les Deux Alpes is an important French resort popular with British skiers. It trades successfully on its snow reliability and hosts summer and autumn camps on its glacier slopes for skiers and snowboarders. Val d'Isère, which is about two hours from Chambéry, is open from 24th November this year until um, the third week of April next year. Though this the slopes in Val d'Isère are enjoyed by all, the ski area is best suited, best suited to strong intermediates and better linked to neighboring a uh, resort that is thin to form a ski area of about 300 kilometers of pistes and 78 lifts val d'isere offers high quality snowshore slopes for everyone mergev it's about 40 minutes from shamuni and about an hour and a half from Chambéry, open again from December till April next year. The skiing area is extensive and best suits intermediates who want miles of easy cruising on well-groomed pistes. And after a fresh snowfall, the off-piste is delightful because most of Merget's pampered clientele stick to the piste. Morzine, open from December third week to second week of April. It's only an hour and a half, um, only an hour and ten minutes from Chamonix. Morzine is the capital of a huge 600 kilometers cross-border Porte du Soleil ski area that extends into Switzerland. It's a great base and is ideally suited to families. There is great fun to be had on the Morazine slopes create an, created on undulating summer pastures that are bordered by dense woodland and the variety of slopes in the Porte du Soleil suits everyone from absolute beginners to veterans to veterans. And now we move to the sunny side of France, the Provence. About 25 minutes drive from Avignon, this quaint country inn and guest house is a typical Provençal 18th century country house surrounded by sun dappled gardens, homely interiors, hemmed by chef Thierry Provara and his wife Mina. Le Mas de Cré is a wonderful homestay experience in Provence. About an hour and a half from Marseille lies an ancient castle and cathedral at the top of a hill and a spill of golden stones and ruins glinting in the Provencal sun. God welcomes you. It is considered as the most beautiful village uh, in France. While st strolling around the charming cobblestone streets which climb up between the tall stone houses you will chance upon beautiful old doorways gorgeous arches and walls of restored golden stone while on the other side the panoramic vistas of the valley and mountains stretch out Gord is indeed a wonderful discovery 
to us from Marseille uh, in Luberon, Chateau La Verie is set amidst lush vineyards uh, that belong to the Decour family for the last three generations. A tour of this um, gorgeous estate takes you through its vast cellars and the history of winemaking, which has moved from heavy old barrels to the gleaming stainless steel efficiency of the modern winemaking process. And now we're going to talk about Marseille, which is about three and a half hours from Paris with the TGV, two and a half hours from Nice, and about one hour, 40 minutes, 45 minutes from Lyon, also by the fast speed train. It is also very well connected with other international cities by air. Now, everywhere you visit in Marseille, a cosmopolitan and capital of Provence, you are never far from the serene turquoise waters of the Mediterranean Sea. Whether walking along a charming old street, or winding your way along white beaches and picturesque roads, the old port area that is uh, La Vieille Port is the most vibrant part of this stunning harbor, a harbor city which offers exclusive gourmet delicacies typical to Marseille, like the ratatouille, the bouillabaisse, which is um, a traditional Provencal fish stew, um, a charming olive oil cellar and shop in the heart of Marseille, Comptoir aux huiles, offering exclusive olive oil tastings and pairings with different aperitifs, welcomes you with walls lined with olive oil casks and bottles and delightful treasures tucked into every nook. This delightful shop offers a distinctly Marseille experience where a traditional Apparative feast is, is a must. Now, there are different ways to explore Marseille. This beautiful city offers guided tours of the entire city, right from the old port to the Basilica of Notre Dame, that is um, the highest point in the city, giving beautiful panoramic views of this um this gorgeous port town one must not forget the calongs that are very peculiar to this this region and this city uh, calongs are these beautiful outlet inlets of the mediterranean sea uh, coming through small hills hence you need to hike from one hill to another to get to these Kalongs, but one may also use uh, the Kalong boat ride to discover the several Kalongs uh, surrounding Marseille. The Friul Islands, which are just um, off the shore of Marseille, about 20 minutes, are also a wonderful discovery. Another town in Provence, we talk about Aix-en-Provence, a very chic French town, is about 15 minutes from Marseille by the fast speed train, but uh, about 15 minutes by road. Um, Aix-en-Provence can be a base for several ex day excursions to places like um, the Corge du Verdon, um, which is a paradise for adventure sports and is only about two hours drive from X. Our one must visit and stroll through the old town of X, um, pass by the Cour Mirabeau and visit the Vasserle Foundation. 
And now Avignon, another charming town in the beautiful region of Provence is about one and a half hours from Marseille. Uh, Avignon used to be uh, the place where the Pope lived before he went to the Vatican, hence the palace um, of the Pope. Uh, the little pond d'Avignon is also a very beautiful discovery and Avignon can be a base city for day excursions to the beautiful wine producing, well, red wine producing region of Chateau Neuf du Pape, which is only about 30 minutes from Avignon, along with the UNESCO um, site of Pont du Gard, which is by, by far the oldest um, Roman aqueduct in Europe, also at about 30 minutes from Avignon, is definitely a must visit. And finally, Saint Tropez, the beautiful seaside French uh, resort, again, more towards luxury experiences. And of course, the Vieux is a must visit that is the old port of Pro of Saint Tropez, uh, which is only two hours from the city of Marseille. The Citadel and uh, the Musée, the Museum of Annonciade, are definitely a must visit. And the beautiful beaches in the Provence uh, region are only about four kilometers southeast of this town. And now we will move on to a few sample itineraries that are presented by uh, Shilpa Ranade from Easy Go One. Over to you, Shilpa. Thank you, Shreya. A warm welcome to each and every one of you who's present, and thank you for joining in. We will now discuss about winter packages for this session. As you all are aware, that the gastronomic meals of France added to the UNESCO intangible heritage of humanity. Let's first discuss about the package, which is French gastronomic delights. The duration of this package is five nights and six days, and it has three nights stay in Paris and two nights stay in Reims. The inclusions would be your accommodation as per the selection of the category of the hotels, your daily breakfast, your arrival and departure transfer, airport transfers, your must-see sightseeing, that is city tours, and your all intercity travel would be by train in a second class. The starting price of this package would be around 69,000, which will exclude the GST. To move on to the next package, we have French Sojourn, which is an eight-day package, which has a stay in Paris, Chamonix, and Lyon. Again, the inclusions would be your accommodation as per the category of the hotels you choose, your daily breakfast, your transfers from airport to airport, your internal transfers between the cities would be by train in a second class, and all your must-see sightseeing, which is a part of your package. The starting price of this package would be around 99,000 per person on twin sharing basis. Again, it excludes your GST. The third package, what we suggest, would be of four nights and five days. That is magnific magnificent France, and it has two nights in Gods and two nights in Marseille. The inclusions would be accommodation at a selection, as per the selection, selected category of hotels. Your daily breakfast is part of your package. Your return transfers from the airport as well as hotel. Your basic sightseeing would be included in the package. And your intercity travel would be by train in a second class. The starting price of this package would be 1,11,000, which will be exclusive of your GST. Last but not the least, 
as we all are aware that france is a most romantic country and most of the people prefer to travel when especially when they are they are on their honeymoon so this itinerary we would suggest to the honeymooners and it has shamoni for two nights paris for two nights marse for two nights and it has two nights stay in nice as well the inclusions of the package is accommodation then your return transfers as per the itinerary your basic sightseeing and must see sightseeing is included and all your intercity travel would be by train by rail in a second class the starting price of the package would be 92000 and this is excludes your gst as we have been mentioned in each and every package that the accommodation would be as per the selection of uh, the selected category of the hotels you have options of 3 star 4 star 5 stars well these are the few itineraries which we suggest based the regions covered under this webinar however you may offer other itineraries with different number of days or the location in case if you wish to all our contact details and email ids are mentioned at the end of this site and we would like to thank you once again for joining in i would give it give it over to amrin thank you thank you shilpa well that ends an insightful presentation from shreya and shilpa on how to to sell france to learn more about france please visit the uh, website mentioned on the screen which is www.visitfrenchwine.com i hope uh, you all have gained valuable insights from this webinar please follow them on their social media websites mentioned on the screen We will now be starting with a Q&A session where the presenters will answer your queries. so uh, we have our first question by mr uh, vinesh ochani who is asking if the protests in france currently are disrupting tourism um i do not think they are we do not have any uh, specific advisory uh, that would dissuade tourism to france uh, well travel to france uh, hence it's business as usual uh, our next question uh, by sari putra ramteke uh, i apologize if i have pronounced it wrongly uh, so the question is french wine festival held in which part of the year uh, there are several uh, wine festivals held in different parts of france uh, so i will write to you specifically um, about a specific destination if you are looking at please do not hesitate to send an email in this regard Mr K D Singh asks if there are any language issues um, I do not think there are any language issues in France uh, the French speak uh, English uh, in almost all parts of France the next question is uh, what are traboules uh, so traboul is a very peculiar concept um to lyon and these are a beautiful passageways that were built in the past uh, in the city so you can enjoy um visiting these 
different passageways, the Thrabuls, uh, as the tourist office does offer uh, city tours, um, well, tour of the Thrabul in Lyon. The next question is, what is Glaciorium? Glaciorium is a, a museum for glaciers, uh, which you will find in Chamonix. The next question, uh, how can we download a PDF of the presentation? Uh, it is not possible to download the PDF of the presentation. I'm sorry. But the presentation will be put up. Um, the, the webinar will be put up on YouTube later. And the link will be shared with you. So we have another question from Gayatri asking the train connections in the Romantic France package. So as I've said, it has a uh, place like Chamonix, then Paris, then Marseille and Nice. So from Chamonix, uh, you will fly to Paris and from Paris, you will take a train to Marseille and from Marseille, you will take a train to Nice. Um, I'm going to answer Ms. Hina Parekh's question, which is um, which is the most preferable area to stay in Paris. Uh, so we recommend the districts. So Paris is divided into several districts and there are about 20 districts in Paris city. So we recommend uh, your clients could stay in the first, uh, the second, the third district, uh, eighth, nine uh, districts are very central. 14, 16, and 12 are also very beautiful parts uh, of Paris. Mr. P.P. Khanna would like to know what category of hotels offered in the package. We would like to inform you that we would be able to offer uh, packages, uh, hotels, uh, right from three star to five star. Uh, Mr. Vinit Singh uh, would like to know if uh, there are uh, any packages which are specifically for kids. Uh, as you know that Paris uh, is equally famous for its Disney and we would definitely have a lot of packages which has uh, Disney also which can be suitable for the families with kids. The next question is how many days can you suggest for Nice? Uh, for Nice, I think it would be ideal to stay for at least three nights to cover uh, the entire Côte d'Azur region, having Nice as your base. Uh, I would answer the question, what is the ideal time to visit uh, Alp Mont Blanc, the Chamonix Mont Blanc and Marseille? Uh, so uh, ideally, if your clients are interested in experiencing snow, then definitely the months of uh, December, Jan and Feb uh, for Chamonix and in the Mont Blanc region. Uh, and uh, so far as Marseille is concerned, it's, um, a, it's a beautiful city with a lot of sun so it is you can visit it uh, all around the year
Well, Mr. Uh, Shabbi, the Lal would like to know if uh, they could get the sample itineraries by email. Uh, as we mentioned that our email ID is already mentioned. Please uh, share your inquiry on that email uh, email ID which is provided. We will share you all the itineraries as given in this webinar. Another question is, do we need to book wine tasting in advance? Uh, well, uh, Mr. Kanna, it depends on the season you are traveling in, but I would ideally, I mean, recommend that you do book it in advance. Mr. Hariyom Trivedi uh, would like to know uh, if they have inquiries for France and uh, they would need a support from us. We would be definitely happy to help you out. Please reach out, uh, reach out to us on the email ID and the phone number provided in the slide. Uh, how frequent are train connections from one city to another is the next question. Uh, uh, the railway network in France is, uh, I think, the second largest in Europe, hence it's very densely connected. So I would say it's um, the connections are, are very, very nice and quite frequent. frequent. Uh, any budget accommodations in San uh, Well, you may find a few, but uh, most of them are towards the the high end, um, the the higher range. Uh, another question, are there any upscale exclusive experiences that we can offer to corporates or any unique venues for gala dinners um, for mice? Yes, of course there are and I would uh, be glad to share them with you, Mr. Karmarkar. If you could please just drop in a test mail on my email ID, I will be happy to share all the necessary and relevant information with you. Mr. P.P. Khanna uh, would like to know that uh, what what is the category you're offering in the package? I would like to inform you that the price which was displayed here was the, was on the basis of basic three star hotel. However, you may choose four star, five star as well. Another question is about Indian cuisine. Um, I think I did speak about it during the presentation that yes, Indian cuisine, uh, Indian food is easily available in uh, several parts of uh, France. Chateau La Very is definitely accessible uh, for public as well. Uh, Mr. Priyavrat Malik, please write to us to know more about the rates and the commissions. Uh, for your guests staying uh, for seven nights in Paris, uh, is it advisable to take pass or need to issue separate tickets for the for trains? Uh, so now I can answer this only if I know if you are if your guests are going to be traveling outside Paris as well uh, and for how many days. Uh, but if they are staying in Paris um, only for five days, then the the, the pass would be a better option. Hi, Pur Purvi. Uh, please write to us on the email ID provided or reach out to us on the
phone number given by us to know how to book for your train and sightseeing or only excursions in case if you have any FIT query. And I'll take another question. It is, is it advisable to stay in Marseille or do Aix-en-Provence and Avignon um, as day trips? Uh, uh, yes, yes, most certainly you can keep Marseille as the base and uh, visit Aix-en-Provence and uh, Avignon. Uh, but I think uh, to visit Avignon and the surrounds, uh, you would you would need two days. Uh, Mr. Gupta, uh, for nightlife in Paris, um, I have a document that can help you. Uh, so if you could please send me your email ID so I can share that document with you with um, all the trendy places in Paris to visit by the night. Thank you. Okay, uh, small towns near to Nice. Well, uh, there are many, but you could uh, definitely propose places like uh, Villefranche, Sturmer. Uh, you can propose a visit to Ez. Uh, you can definitely visit Cannes, which is not far from Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, are our farm stay and homestay options uh, available at um, at Beaujolais or Cote Duron? Uh, yes, I'm sure there are to experience the local culture and uh, also indulge in wine tasting. And I would be happy to share more information with you if you could if you can drop me a line, please. Uh, the Friul Islands uh, are accessible from which city is uh, one of the questions. And uh, Friul Islands are accessible from Marseille. They are just off the shore of uh, Marseille, just off the old port. And there are, f um, there are ferries uh, between old port, Marseille, old port of Marseille and um, the Friul Islands. Uh, the next one is English widely spoken or still a jargon unlike other parts of France. So I would like to reiterate that uh, English is very well spoken uh, in France. So another question, uh, Mr. Dervi, uh, sorry, uh, Adya Dervi, which region do we visit for lavender fields um, and what time? Yes, it's a very good question. So for lavender fields, you may go to Avignon and these fields are very easily accessible uh, from Avignon or you can also stay in Marseille. And the best time to visit them is, uh, it, it really depends on which part of Provence um, are you going to visit. But you the, the ideal time to visit would be uh, beginning June uh, until end of July at the max. Hi, Vineet. You can definitely customize these packages in terms of adding or deleting number of days or in case if you have a specific demand or request for any specific city, do write to us and we will get back to you.
Hmm. How many days do you, would you recommend for ANC? So uh, ANC uh, is a small town, so you can pass uh, uh, an entire day or even uh, choose to stay in ANC if you'd like to to have a relaxing um, holiday. What is boulangerie? Boulangerie means a bakery. Is Trocadero in Paris a good area to suggest for accommodation? Uh, yes, it is. It is. Um, it's a very nice district, and Trocadero gives a beautiful view of the Eiffel Tower as well. There's another question about Indian uh, food for mice. Um, well, big groups, and yes, there are caterers in France that provide uh, Indian meals um, for mice. Hello, Mr. Khanna. Please write to us to know more about the commissions and the package details. Um, are prior reservations required for, for visits to uh, Leal by Paul Bocuse? Uh, well, uh, not to Leal by Paul Bocuse as it's a, a huge, um, you know, sort of a market space. But if you'd like to visit specific restaurants, uh, I recommend you do book in advance. more questions um, uh, can you suggest a tour to champagne uh, region uh, yes most certainly you may get in touch with um, our colleague from easygo or myself for getting um, uh, recommendations I can the package cost which is given to us right now is for the winter season. Do get back to us on the email ID given to our, given on the screen to know more details about it.
Okay, now we are going to take one last question and um, and end the webinar. So, what makes God visit so special? Because uh, God is considered as one of the most beautiful villages uh, in France. And another question is self drive recommended in the Provence region? Yes, it is for the beautiful uh, landscapes. Um, and yeah, you please do not hesitate to uh, write, uh, write to us. Um, the email IDs are in front of you. Just note them down and feel free to reach out to us for any, uh, should you have any query uh, for France. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. A big thank you to all of you and to the team of Atu France and Easygo One. We are positive that you have learned some new facets of this destination, which will help you sell France more effectively to your clients. For any queries, you can get, get in touch with them. Their contact details are on the screen. Thank you. Also, please note that the e-certificate will be sent to you on the mail shortly with the link of the presentation. Thank you.